Hello, I'm Edward and welcome to WindowsReport.com. In this video, I will show you how to fix DNS issues on Windows 10. If you're having DNS issues, it usually means that you cannot surf the web properly. The causes can be very diverse, but in the same time, there are also many solutions to fix this issue. So stay tuned and let's take a look in depth at how to manage this problem in no time. For a more detailed explanation and even more solutions, please check the article in the description below. The first solution is using command prompt. What you have to do is click the start button in the lower left corner and simply type CMD. Then right click command prompt and run as administrator. When command prompt opens, enter the following lines and press enter after each. After you close the command prompt, check if the issue is resolved. According to users, you can fix issues with DNS by using command prompt. Another great solution is reinstalling your network adapter drivers. To do that, just click the start button in the lower left corner and simply type device manager. Then click device manager. In the device manager window, just locate your network adapter, right click it and choose uninstall. After you uninstall it, click the scan for hardware changes button. Then locate your network adapter once again, right click it and choose update driver software. Choose the option to search automatically for updated driver software. Then wait for Windows 10 to download and install the necessary software on your device. You can also make sure that Microsoft LLDP protocol driver is enabled. Click the start button in the lower left corner and simply type control panel. Then click control panel. Then go to network and sharing center. Then find your connection and click on it. Go to properties and then make sure the Microsoft LLDP protocol driver option is checked. Afterwards, press OK and close the network and sharing center. Another useful solution is performing a clean boot to fix DNS issues on Windows 10. You can do that by clicking the start button in the lower left corner and writing MS config. Then just click on system configuration or press enter. From system configuration, navigate to the services tab, check hide all Microsoft services and click disable all. Then navigate to the startup tab and click open task manager. Right click the first entry on the list, choose disable from the menu. Do this for all entries on the list. Then return to system configuration, click apply and ok to save changes and restart your PC. You can also use Google's public DNS server. What you have to do is right click the network icon in your sysbar and choose open network and internet settings from the menu. Now once you did that, you have to click change adapter options. You then have to locate your network connection and right click it. Choose properties from the menu. Then select internet protocol version 4 TCP IPv4 and then click on the properties button. Now the tricky part is you have to check use the following DNS server addresses and set the preferred DNS server to 8888 and the alternate DNS server to 8844. Then you just click OK to save changes. And another great solution is removing WinSock keys from the registry. To do that, just click the start button in the lower left corner and simply type reg edit. Then click registry editor. In the registry editor window, just navigate to computer, H key, local machine, then system, then current control set, and then services. Locate WinSock and WinSock 2 keys. Right click each key and choose export. Save them as WinSock and WinSock 2. After you've exported both WinSock and WinSock 2 keys, you need to delete them. Right click each key and choose delete from the menu. Then restart your PC. Once your computer restarts, start registry editor once again. Go to file and import, select WinSock and click open. After importing WinSock file, import WinSock 2 as well. Then restart your PC once again and check if the problem is solved. For more information and details, please check the article in the description below. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe to our channel. Thank you.